Today YouTubers, I'm going to be showing you how to use C Sharp to interact with uh, Microsoft Word, uh, especially Mail Merge. We're going to create a template and then um, plug into those uh, template merge fields and uh, put values into them. So without wasting any more time, let's go to Microsoft Word. Um, I'm going to create a quick simple template. Um, I just created a new blank Word document. Um, if I go to the Insert tab, ribbon and then go quick parts field and merge fields you type the name of the field in here and the first field is going to be first name the next field will be last name and uh, we'll make this an invoice so the final field will make total amount due or amount due something along those lines uh, let's call it amount Okay, so this one is first name. So let's make this amount. Okay, let me just add a little bit more of alignment here. Okay just gonna keep it relatively simple and I'm going to save this okay so I'm saving it and uh, you can see I just created a, uh, a test folder on my C drive and um, saved it as template um, that is saved I will close it and um, I created a simple Windows form application I just have a little button on the screen uh, before I do anything I need to add a reference to the Microsoft Word API so if we right click reference go add reference and um, go to the .NET tab and right now it's still loading it and let me just sort it if you go to Microsoft Office interrupt.word I'm going to choose the latest version that I have 14 which is uh, Office 2007 okay so now you can see that there is a reference to the Word API now we can use it I'm gonna go over to my button and um, add the click event and we're gonna put some code in here so the basically how this works is uh, you create an application object and then you create a document object you then um, have to add the template to the um, document and then you can start iterating through all the mail merge fields and then change them so the very first thing we're going to do is create an application object Microsoft Office interrupt word application and sorry let me add the new keyword in front of it and then we need a document interrupt.word.document okay and like I said the next step is adding that template that we put in uh, we know that it's in the test folder and it's titled template so let's go and set the document equal to the application documents dot add and we need to add the template now um, these are all optional parameters so the only one we have to provide is the um, is the template and let me say that's in C drive backslash test backslash template dot doc x I believe okay so those are the first things now um, the next thing just to show you I'm going to type application object and then I'm going to set it visible equals true so we're just going to go ahead and run this now just so that you can see that um, up till this point our code is working I'm going to click this perform button and you'll see that in fact the um, Microsoft Word opened and then it also opened the template and you can see it it's not that it doesn't have the template name it's a new document so um, it doesn't open the actual template it uses the template in a new document and we have our mail merge field so let me close that stop running that and our next step will be like I said to iterate through each merge field so um, the 
So I'm going to use a for each loop, and I'm going to use the field. Uh, let me find it. It's a Microsoft Office interrupt word dot field, I believe. And then my merge field in, and we use the documents objects and its list of fields. So that um, was pretty straightforward. Now we're going to iterate through each merge field, and to make this, let me just call this field make it a little easier to work with. Um, okay, so now the next test is to test whether the field that um, every time it loops through we need to look for the first name, the last name, and the amount and put values in it. So I'm going to say if field dot code dot text dot contains um, and uh, the text we are looking for is first name else if and field.code.text contains last name and then else if field.code.text contains and I believe it was amount I am just going to um, open our template and double check it Okay, first name, last name, and amount. So, now that we have these, um, what you essentially have to do is once it finds that location, um, we'll use the um, the mail merge field because <sighs> when you're using the API, you essentially mimic being a human as well as if you were using the word application. So, the first thing we have to do is we have to set the focus to the position of where that merge field is and then once you set the focus then you basically manually type what you you want in there so we'll do application dot selection dot type text and we're going to say John is the name and I'm just going to copy this code for last name John Doe and then if it's an amount we're going to say three hundred twenty five dollars and sixty two cents Okay, now as you can see, uh, everything looks good. It's going to open the Word template. It's going to iterate through each merge field and then um, change the values, setting them to um, first name to John, last name to Doe, and amount to 325. So let's go ahead and run this, and we're going to click this merge field, and you'll see, bam, there we go. First name John, last name Doe, and 325. Let me add one more step to this at the very bottom after it iterates through it is um, there's a whole like I said you can do a lot of what you could do as a human um, uh, I'm going to use the document save as function and I'm going to specify the file name so we're going to use that same folder test backslash test save dot docx and so essentially and then, in fact, we'll even close it. So, um, document.close and application.close.exit, probably. Uh, let's see how to close it. Um, quit. There it is. Okay. Now, um, go ahead and run this. Okay, perform mail merge. And you'll see, bam, bam, done. Applications close. Now, let's open the folder. And you'll see the folder that had the template also has this test save file. And you'll see if we open it, there's the document saved as. So, um, this could possibly be a way to automate a bunch of invoices or um, some kind of document generation. And um, be careful when you use the type text field you do have to provide a value if you keep it empty and um, if you made it empty like that uh, an empty character um, it won't type anything and it'll leave the merge field there so um, if you have blanks I would uh, and no value I'd enter a space into there come up with some way of handling that exception anyway well I hope you enjoyed the video um, I'll have others coming up in the future cheers